Hello guys, welcome to another few money. Today I hope to have a really quick video. There's not a big difference from yesterday in the price action. So let's go directly to the charts and check what's happening here. So let's start with the price to time model. As usual, you guys can see that we continue in a very undecided week. So this is the second red week we have. The 20 period moving average is uh, declining a bit in its ascending. So we are turning a bit to the right side instead of continuing to go up very sharply. Uh, the candle for this week is already, so today is Wednesday, so it has, it's on its uh, third day and still undecided where it wants to go so uh, i guess there's a lot of um, people waiting on the sidelines to see what will happen this week and probably next week will be uh, the moment where we start to see where the price action or the price structure will follow will go in the future so for now the price to time uh, model is just telling me that everything looks good uh, we are below the exponential curve line as you guys can see for already four weeks which is great I've been uh, in the past I've been saying a lot of times that I would like a few weeks of um, price action below the exponential curved line so that we can recover from all this uh, craziness going overextended and for now as long as we don't go down and close the weekly candle below the 20 period moving average i see this as a positive situation so that's it for the price of time model no big news here let's check the mri and we start with the weekly chart so as you guys can see here also very good signs that the trend line i have here for several weeks already is holding the price so if i zoom out a bit you guys can see that since i plotted this uh, trend line which was about uh, this candle here i plotted this when i had two data points to plot the trend line we had one two three four five already with the last two weeks touching the trend line but not cross uh, crossing to the downside which means that this trend line is actually very good support for the price action so i would not mind to continue to have this week like that and next week starting again close to the trend line and to be a week of upside so if that happens this is what i expect by the way, I expect this week to close around the same that we have now, not uh, big um, uh, volatility, not big volatility movements in this during this week, uh, except for the ones we had already to the trend line and the bit up or also uh, going back into the triangle. But I guess this triangle is becoming now invalidated so we cross to the downside we have a weekly candle outside of the triangle so I hope the trend line now assumes the relevant position for this price structure and give us gives us uh, next week uh, some impulse to the upside uh, which is what everyone is expecting when the people on the sidelines um, start to be decisive about what to do. So this is the uh, weekly uh, chart. The RSI is again below the oversold line. The MACD is in a very dangerous position. You see the two lines are about to touch each other. But if next week we see a positive movement to the upside. I believe that even the lines touching each other, they should not cross over. And if the candle for next week is green and, um, you know, going up again with the same kind of uh, uh, strength that we have been seeing in the market, probably those two lines, the maximum that could happen is they could touch but not cross over. And that is good. So I hope this can happen. Uh, the um, Fisher distance from the EMA is neutral. So nothing to see here. Let's check the daily. 
So the daily candle, uh, the daily candles are showing what I said uh, in the previous chart. We are having some volatility, but nothing really uh, big. As you guys can see, we are now on a red count. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the fifth candle of a one to nine red count. Uh, however, if the next candle, even if the next candle goes a bit to the downside, we continue to count to the number six and that will be good as long as we remain above the trend line that you saw in the weekly chart, which is this white line here. So what, what, this, is, um, what this consolidation is uh, creating is a very, very, very good support for uh, when the price action goes to the upside. This entire area you see here on blue and yellow on the right is going to become a very good support for the future and probably uh, help us to hold the price if some uh, down moves happen. So the price, uh, the volume, sorry, the volume um, decline is at this moment stabilizing so as you guys can see the orange average volume is coming down and then it goes up here on the daily and then it just goes sideways so this shows that the volume decline is stopping and we are now going sideways trying to balance again the volume probably if we see uh, new volume coming in and the orange line starting to go up again a bit, we could see that in at the same time as next week's candle probably going to the upside, which they don't have any correlation. The volume can be really high and we can still go to the downside if the sell volume is much higher than the buy volume. But however, this is a bull market and in a bull market, usually people tend to uh, buy more than sell so an increase in volume would be a good sign although I know they are not directly correlated the RSI uh, came a bit down for the last few days it crossed uh, below the the mean line of this chart here but we are now going sideways again so not really relevant the MACD on the daily is bearish as you guys know already, uh, the BitMEX funding rate, we don't discuss it on the daily, but however, I can just tell you that on the daily, this is 0 0.01, which is very low, but I believe that in the next chart, we can see a bit different uh, stuff. Let me just check if I said everything about the MRI. So the red count is on a five. I could expect a few more days of downside. However, not really big volatility in those candles. So that's my daily um, preview of what's happening. Okay, so the four hour chart. So as I said, we have been consolidating above the trend line. You can, you guys can see the trend line that I discussed on the uh, weekly chart here. So this is the consolidation we've been having. So I'm not expecting the price action to cross to the downside of the trend line. If that happens, I will have to reevaluate possibilities. However, um, we also have been um, having this resistance of the down uh, side of the triangle, which is the green line over here. So we've been just consolidating between the trend line and the downside of the triangle. And probably after this consolidation and a few more days, probably we will see some kind of volatile move um, some reactivation, for example, to the upside, which is what I expect. If not this week, at least uh, the coming week, we could see some volatile move after this consolidation. So, so far, so good. The trend line is holding the price, and that is a very good sign that the market is healthy, that people uh, believe in Bitcoin, the support is really good around this area, and of course it's really hard to go to the downside of this trend line if there's a lot of people on the sidelines waiting for that opportunity to buy the dip which will happen uh, if the price crosses over to the downside and then we could have a strong reactivation of the price action to the upside okay so this is the four hours so let me check the bitmax funding rate which is really small here because of those bars of the past 
so right now it's really close to zero as you guys can see this is almost zero so it's not relevant uh, and this is good for the bull case so as long as the funding rate on bitmax is really low like this the bulls are in uh, control of this market and i bet that it's because of this also that the price is being held here above the trend line so quickly let's check the one hour maybe we could have something different on the bitmax funding rate but no no this is 0 0.01 really low really low so i'm not worried at at all at, at all about the bitmax funding rate so this is a very good case for the bulls and that's what we've been seeing so far that the trend line is holding although some resistance are keeping the price from going above this area of the 57,000, which is the area that we have to break if you if we want to see reactivation to the upside okay uh so let me check here we are already on time uh so let me go back to the four hours here and leave it there and then we can move to the pro indicators framework so here we are on the daily view of the pro indicators framework we are creating a new second range boundary so far so good we don't have any indication that the price action will uh, break the trend line which is not here on this chart but you guys know already that we are just above it so if you guys want to see the candles on the daily here uh, on the pro indicators framework this is where we are the trend line is just below and if we break the trend line the probability is that we are going to be on this area of interest that i drew here which goes from the bottom at 44,000 to the top at 48,000. so that would be my speculation area of interest to go long if by any chance the price breaks that trend line comes back down here to the middle of the context channel and that would be a very good opportunity to go long and uh, enter the market for those that are just waiting on the sidelines with tons of euros or dollars to spend on bitcoin which is what you should do okay so let's just take a look at the four hours really quick real quick and see okay so this is the first range boundary the second range boundary as expected as you've seen in the previous chart here is the area of interest so uh we are just being supported on the four hour by the context support which is the gray boxes here as you can see on the background of the price this gray box is the support context this is also the trend line on the mri uh, charts and if we break this support that is the area i'm expecting to go long and take advantage of this invalidation of the second range boundary to having a new second range boundary okay guys so uh that's the analysis for today as you guys can see there is not a big difference from yesterday except for the fact that we are creating a very nice support area for the future if this consolidation continues like that uh, until I expect until at least this week we could have uh, probably a volatile move to the upside or downside I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen this this as you guys know already this is the dump zone if I drop my fibs you guys can see my crazy fibs you already know I have these fibs only with the red and the green area so as you guys can see inside the red and green area here in the middle it's what i call the dump zone the no trade zone so i'm not expecting to trade anything here i'm just waiting for the price to take uh, to make its move if the price action goes to the upside just below the first range boundary forming a third range boundary that would be my uh, possibility for a take profit situation if we go below the green line and probably into this speculation area I have here from the 44 to 48,000 that would be a very good place to go long so that's what I'm expecting I want to see what the price action is going to do before I make any moves into the market so I will be patient I will wait and not do anything else until the price action tells me what to do so that's the analysis for today let me just go turn off the screen share that's what i have for today uh, this is a quick video update a quick briefing update of the price action on bitcoin no big changes from yesterday as i said so 
my recommendation for the moment is patience let's see what the price action will do if we go to the downside and we break the trend line you will have a good opportunity to go long uh, around 50,000 area or even below that would be a great opportunity if we go to the 44 to 48,000 uh, area if we go up then you will have also a nice opportunity to take some profits uh, off the table and see what the future is going to reserve for us so that's my analysis for today uh, please be patient guys be careful out there when you trade don't use too much leverage and gently touch the like button as i've been saying already not smash it and i hope to see you all in the next video bye bye